esophageal stenting. Esophageal obstruction may be caused by stenosing esophageal cancer, external involvement by lung cancer, or compression from lymph node enlargement. The Aegis esophageal stent has a unique design resulting in superior performance. The knitted skeleton allows free conformability to the anatomy of the esophagus and compliance with peristalsis. This results in markedly reduced migration, even when placed across the gastroesophageal junction. Good stent fixation is further achieved by the large double-stepped stent heads. The absence of straightening forces reduces pain and the risk of pressure necrosis, while achieving slow and gentle dilation through the shape memory effect of the nitinol skeleton. The EPTFE membrane excels through durability and flexibility and allows easy stent removal, even after several weeks of stent implantation. Retrieval lassos for stent removal. This may be done in a conventional fashion via traction from the upper end or in an even less traumatic way by stent inversion through capture of the lower retrieval string. An optional anti-reflux valve reduces regurgitation and aspiration of gastric content for stents placed across the gastroesophageal junction. A catheter and hydrophilic guide wire are placed from the mouth through the stricture into the stomach. This may be done under endoscopic or fluoroscopic guidance. The patient should lie in a prone or lateral position to reduce the risk of aspiration. After removal of the guide wire, the stricture is outlined by injection of a water-soluble contrast medium through the catheter. The SNG Biotech calibrated Song Lim coil catheter will allow more accurate assessment of the stricture without the need for withdrawing the catheter above the stricture or removing the guide wire, thus reducing procedure time. The catheter is passed well beyond the tumor. A super stiff guide wire is inserted and the catheter removed. The delivery is advanced over the stiff wire and the stent positioned across the stricture. Radio-opaque gold markers allow accurate stent positioning on fluoroscopy. A yellow marker on the delivery system allows deployment under endoscopic control. The stent should extend beyond the edges of the strictures by at least 2 centimeters. The delivery sheath is unlocked and slowly withdrawn while maintaining stent position. The delivery system and guide wire can be removed at this point. If the degree of stent expansion needs to be assessed more accurately, this can be done by further injection of contrast or endoscopically. However, care needs to be taken not to displace the stent by advancing the endoscope through it. Nitinol stents reach their full radial force only after warming to body temperature and will continue to expand for several days. Balloon dilation should be avoided. Your local SNG Biotech representative will be more than happy to answer any questions and provide assistance if required. Thank you.